Hi guys, welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video. Now, if you watched my previous video, I gave you an overview of all the things that are on my Christmas wish list for Scout and all of the things that I was planning or modifications that I was planning for the next upcoming videos. Well, today we're gonna to be tackling one of those and that is this, the Mud UK interior light. If you own a Defender, you'll know that the interior lights are actually really poor. So the cabin light is a really yellowy light and doesn't actually do much to illuminate the cabin. The same with the rear light. So I'm going to be installing this and comparing the two. So stay tuned and we're going to start installing this. So just a demonstration of the uh, original light that comes with the Defender. Probably not the best illustration because all of the Christmas lights around the area are blaring, but as you can see, they're usually pretty poor um, and they don't really illuminate the cabin too much. It's very yellow light. So I'm gonna be installing the mud light, which should hopefully improve the uh, interior lighting. Quick, simple upgrade, but will uh, dramatically infect, affect the lighting on the interior. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove the old lamp lens and underneath there, there should be two eight mil bolts that we can remove. So we just prise this off with a small screwdriver. The lens should hopefully come down. There we go. And now we have two eight mil bolts uh, that we need to remove. So we'll remove those now. So I'm just gonna use a socket set to remove those. These should come out pretty easy. Unlike most bolts on a Defender. So there's the one. The second, there we go. So now the light should drop down. Come on. There we go, there's the second bolt, and you can see that the light has fallen down. All right, so we'll now just pull the lamp down very gently, and there we go. And now you just need to remove the existing or the older loom. So you just pull that plug out, and there you go, you've got the old lamp out the way. We've also got uh, an earth terminal and this metal plate that we now need to remove. So we'll just slide this out. Like so. Disconnect the earthing wire. It's a little bit fiddly. There we go. So we'll remove that metal plate. Right, so we've now got the two purples and the black that we need to connect to the existing uh, loom. So we'll just pop, pop one in there. It's a bit fiddly to be able to see exactly where they go. There we go, there's one in there and one in the other side. And then we put the earth in place as well. Like so, just, just do a little light check. There we go, red and white working. And then it's about screwing this up in position. So make sure you've got it the right way around. Feed all the wires through the holes, like so. And then that's where the new, the new lamp will mount. So we've got four holes that we'll then need to screw and the lamp will be fitted. Now we've got the four self-tapping screws that will fix this in place into the new headliner. So we'll just push that up into the the space, make sure it's all the right way around, make sure it's central, and then we'll hold that in place and grab one of the screws. It's probably the best to do the two corners. Oops. Oh, that's quite difficult with it sliding around. Let's make sure it's centered. All right. Now we mark that hole, we'll just screw this in so we'll have the reference point. I'll remove that now. Now we can put the lamp in place with that hole marked, wherever that is. All right, push that up in place. Find the hole. There we go. First one was going to be the hardest. And now we can check and make sure it's all nice and straight. Loosen it off a bit to be able to straighten it. 
Go for the bottom corner. There we go. That's a bit easier now. So the last two screws. There we go. Installed, check it all works. Go for white. Nice. And it's on. And now if we arm it for the door, when I open the door, light comes on. But yeah, that I can already see that's much brighter than the original. Obviously, we've got the two settings. We've got red and we've got white. And then the on off and the door. And now we'll just film the after. So I'll flick the light on. And there you go, you can see much better illumination inside the cab much uh, much brighter so yeah real worthwhile upgrade i'll just flick it to red just to demonstrate and there you go there's the red interior light So there we go, that's the install of the Mud UK light. I think hopefully with that comparison you can see there's actually quite a big difference between the original stock and the Mud UK upgrade. Really happy, really simple install uh, and I'd recommend it if you're kind of struggling with the light inside your car. I'm also probably going to do the same now for the rear one too with the rear plinth. As always if you enjoyed this video please subscribe, it really helps the channel out. Uh, also leave a comment below if you're kind of enjoying this content and any ideas for anything you'd like me to show you in upcoming videos. As I said 2022 is going to be a big year for the channel and I'm really keen to get you guys involved uh, and show you guys anything that you're really interested in around Defenders and I'll see you in the next video.